Hey guys, how are you today? You know, my beautiful neighbor, Chrissy, went to a friend's house and she came back with a bunch of cilantro for me. My cilantro hasn't been growing yet. So she brought home this whole package of cilantro. And I thought about, okay, what can I make? Now I'm already doing this chicken dish. It's an Alton Brown chicken dish, so I'm, I'm doing that. But you know what I, I thought about? I thought about fresh salsa. I had some beautiful tomatoes in the refrigerator and I also had some gorgeous jalapenos. And I said, you know, this would be great. And then all of a sudden, and I don't know, I think it's the phone. I think my phone listens to me or just plugs into my brain, one, one thing or the other. But a recipe for a smoked salsa came up and I said, okay, let's go ahead and do that and get it out in the smoker and, and see what comes up. So I took three red onions and six jalapenos and I smoked them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I also took a full head of garlic. So not just the clove, the full head. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in here. This is my Vitamix and I'll put that in there. I took eight tomatoes and I sliced my tomatoes and I put them in these pans and I smoked these in my Cuisinart smoker for two hours on 225 degrees. So they picked up a lot of smoke. You can see um, they lost some of the liquid, but that's still gonna be enough liquid to get this salsa going. So we're gonna put this in here. So as I said, there's eight tomatoes, a full head of garlic. Don't be shy with your garlic, it's good for you. And let me get the rest of the tomatoes. And you're gonna put that in there. So what we're gonna do is put some beautiful sea salt. Now this sea salt, this is not the container that I got the sea salt in. I got the sea salt at the Asian store. See how grainy it is, how chunky? We're gonna put that in there. It is a little bit on the gray side, and that's fine. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. There's no tomato paste, no juice or anything like that in it. There is, though, some uh, lime juice, and it's about, a t it is about one and a half limes worth. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of black pepper. We've already got those three jalapenos, so you gotta be careful. All right, put that here. We're gonna put our lime juice in pour that right on top, and I'm not going to just run the blender, I'm gonna pulse it, okay? And then I am going to mix this up carefully. You never wanna stick your hand down in, in one of these things, okay? Good mix on this. Oh my gosh, when we were, Mark and I were cooking this outside and we're just going, oh, this is unbelievable. There we go. All right. We do not have the right consistency. Take this off and I'll show you. Now this is not only smoky, but it is fresh. So we're gonna do it a little bit more to get some of that garlic, but let me show you, see? And I'm gonna test it for saltiness here in a second. There we go. So you can see how quickly this goes. And you can sit on the patio while you're smoking it and enjoy a cocktail or a margarita, or whatever you'd like. I've already got chips ready. And what I do is I buy my chips at the grocery store and then I freshen them up. I lay them out on a sheet pan. I'll show you here in a second. I lay them out in a sheet pan and I put my oven up to 350 degrees and I basically toast the chips for about five minutes. And this makes them nice and crisp and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and put this salsa, look at this, nice and chunky, beautiful. Get it all out of here. And then remember that cilantro that I talked to you about that Chrissy went and got for me? Um, I've got it all chopped up. I've got about a handful of it right here, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in. It's coarsely chopped. Now, I am so excited about this. I cannot wait to taste it. Got that all mixed up in there. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Nothing like fresh produce and 
fresh food in the spoon. Now, let me get a spoon here, give this a little bit of a taste, see if we need anything else. It needs a little bit more salt. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more salt to this. Wow. About that much. That smokiness just makes your mouth come alive, along with the jalapenos and the black pepper. Yum. Okay, let me get a chip here to get that all stirred up. Again, let me let you take a look at it. Remember, don't double dip. Let me get a chip. Wow. You've got to try it. It is delicious. If you want, I'm gonna add a little bit more lime juice, but I think it's perfect for me. Maybe I'll use that lime juice and margarita. Anyway, take care. Happy spring.